Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lydia Zahora, author of books for children and mother of four. And she has a beautiful story for us. Yes, I will tell you a story about my son, Vítězslav Zavoral, uh, because uh, I was in situation at uh, 11th week of my pregnancy that doctors told me that it is uh, hopeless. And then the same situation in 21st week of pregnancy. And of course, I will tell you the, the details in a, in a second. But... Um, uh, very important is the reason why I want to um, tell this story because when I heard the doctors telling me that it is completely hopeless uh, for us, for my baby, um, then I went of course to search on internet for any kind of hope and I watched like um, uh, 50 videos uh, waiting to see uh, some kind of, of positive story about our case and uh, there was actually nothing on internet that uh, could give us hope. Just one article uh, in British uh, uh, papers and, and that was it. So I will tell you the story. At 11th week of my pregnancy I got um, a huge bleeding and doctors uh, told me that it is really huge. I had a uh, few hematomas that uh, were all around placenta. And um, uh, they, 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 uh, I spent like two weeks in hospital, but uh, still they give, uh, gave just a, a little hope to my baby. And they told me that basically even if the bleeding will stop and the hematoma will cure, uh, then uh, uh, there is a huge risk of uh, early um, uh, uh, flow of amniotic uh, water because placenta was um, uh, partially destroyed. And I went home uh, with that knowledge, but uh, I felt completely positive. Uh, and uh, I felt uh, my baby boy is uh, completely healthy and fine and that this placenta will survive and that he will uh, survive as well. And uh, basically at 16th week of pregnancy, I stopped bleeding completely. I even forgot about these hematomas and any kind of problems. And I went to ultrasound, just regular ultrasound in 22nd week of pregnancy. And uh, the doctor uh, was in complete shock, completely white in, in face. And, and she told me, I'm very sorry, but uh, you don't have any amniotic fluid. Uh, and I was like, what I was in complete shock. I was crying. I was <laughs> a bit uh, uh, hysteric. Uh, they told me in the first sentence that that's the end of pregnancy, basically, that uh, they need to uh, end it because there is huge risk for me uh, uh, to get infection and stay without um, uh, Womb and uh, that infection can go to the the whole body, of course, and it's uh, it's it's very dangerous. And of course, that a baby doesn't have any ch chances to survive uh, under these cir circumstances without amniotic fluid, and that baby can be um, even genetically um, uh, problematic because uh, uh, there, there must be some um, reason for uh, this amniotic uh, fluid to go away, etc, etc. And uh, they gave me, and I asked, uh, I, I saw that day in the hospital, three very experienced doctors, and uh, the last one, I asked, uh, okay, is there 0.1% of chance? Uh, and he said, maybe 0 0.1 and then he said um, but but let's say zero 
I'm very sorry to say that, but it's more like zero than 0 0.1. And I went uh, and, and I refused to go to um, induction and to lose my baby. And I asked about uh, how does it look like and basically uh, I couldn't imagine uh, do this uh, um, to, 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 to decide to, to do such such thing and not to, to give him a chance even even with the uh, knowledge from doctors that it is a zero percent percent of chance to survive. And uh, I went, went home and I refused that and I spent three days on internet searching for any kind of hope, as I said before. And I just found one article in British newspapers about uh, a lady who stayed without amniotic fluid in 21st week of uh, or second, the same case like mine, uh, pregnancy. But in her case, this amniotic fluid returned within three weeks, if I understood correctly. And the baby was born he healthy and uh, uh, she had this amniotic fluid. Uh, and then in the uh, discussion uh, uh, below the article, there was uh, one uh, destiny <laughs> kind of comment that uh, gave me extreme hope uh, and there was written uh, that one lady wrote that uh, sorry to, to uh, ruin your uh, unbelievable story but basically uh, uh, in our country which was Switzerland she wrote uh, it is quite often that doctors decide to leave this pregnancy and uh, uh, to 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 try to uh, bring the uh, healthy baby out of it, and I was uh, on the next day in first uh, airplane to Switzerland, of course, <laughs> and uh, I went to um, Zurich uh, University Clinic uh, from Czech Republic, where I am, um, and uh, they told me basically the same thing like in Czech Republic, uh, that it is extremely risky, extremely um, uh, complicated pregnancy and uh, that uh, there are low chances for the baby to be born uh, in some normal time and healthy. Uh, but uh, they wouldn't say that there is no chance and it was enough for me to um, uh, uh, to absolutely uh, believe in 100% positive result. And uh, I spent there two weeks, we did all tests, uh, genetic tests, uh, we took sample from placenta. Mm, it is not 100% that uh, um, the result, uh, the result was the placenta, placenta was fine. Of course, that's just one part of placenta. You cannot test whole placenta, but uh, that's that was a good sign. And uh, genetically, baby was uh, fine, and uh, mm, uh, he was uh, growing. Uh, he was uh, he was uh, he he had uh, perfect parameters like the weight and the length and uh, all these uh, things that uh, uh, you measure in regular uh, pregnancy. And I, of course, decided to keep him and uh, to give him chance because uh, he was absolutely sending me signal from, from first problematic day from 11th week that he is completely fine and uh, that he is going to make it simply. And I returned to Czech Republic and they all uh, looked at me like a completely crazy person that uh, doesn't know what she's doing and she's keeping baby and the baby will uh, be born even if he gets, even if he um, will be born after some normal week, let's say 25th week of, of life, it will be extremely risky. He can, um, uh, he can 
uh, die or he can have an extremely problematic life with uh, some uh, diseases, etc., that are connected to early uh, uh, born babies. And uh, and they looked at me like a crazy person that, uh, that I decide even with three healthy children at home to keep uh, the baby with such huge risk. But uh, the, f the funny thing was actually that I didn't feel any risk. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually looked at all these people who were telling me that uh, like they are crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I didn't even uh, pray for the baby or something because I didn't have that need. I felt all the time that everything was fine, like in normal pregnancy i was talking to people about the baby and and uh, not even doctors thought i was crazy but people around me my friends and and colleagues at work you know they told they looked at me like uh, you know should you talk about this uh, you know usually people don't talk about uh, this uh, risky pregnancies until everything ends up uh, great etc but I, I just saw these looks in, in, in people's eyes, but I, I, I kept just <laughs> telling that the baby is fine and his house is a little bit ruined, but <laughs> the baby is completely fine and healthy, which was confirmed on every ultrasound, basically, from, uh, from beginning of, of pregnancy till the end of pregnancy. He was fantastic size and and everything of course uh, ultrasound is not giving you all information but uh, um, I had something positive to talk about <laughs> and uh, and I I decided to uh, leave baby alone and to live normal life and uh, and to wait and basically uh, infection was not coming and the baby was growing and placenta was working and uh, everything was fine except for uh, the fact that nothing is fine <laughs> as doctors uh, told me and um, uh, at basically at the uh, end of 25th week of pregnancy they finally hospitalized me and uh, I was in hospital, I was monitored all the time. Um, and from that on, even the doctors told me that it's a miracle that basically every day of this pregnancy uh, that is coming is miracle because it's already a long time uh, from amniotic fluid to be gone. It was already three, four week weeks. Uh, and uh, infection was not coming and the baby was growing and the placenta was working. So basically I, I was in hospital, I had a fantastic mood and I, 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 I saw these doctors' uh, I, I, I faces like, yeah, uh, echo, uh, like it was uh, kind of sad, something between sadness and, and she's crazy. Uh, something like she doesn't know what's waiting, uh, what 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 will happen. She will have this uh, uh, unhealthy baby with all these problems and blah blah blah, and it will be born any day. So in twenty fifth sixth week, it's extremely risky. Mm, I remember at when I was twenty fifth plus five week. I went to see the uh, neonatology department in hospital, which was something uh, most beautiful I saw. I fell in love <laughs> there. And I saw all these, uh, it, it was like matrix, like uh, unbelievable uh, space station, something like that, where there are these little babies in these incubators and these beautiful people who are taking care of them. And I felt completely secured um, when I saw that. I was like almost, oh, I would like this small baby. I can, I can deliver even today. I don't care. And they really, really looked at me like a crazy person, even, even saying that. And, uh, 
and and from that day i felt even more secure and uh, and more fine and basically i i believe i believed in this technology and in these people who uh, who who are uh, taking care of these babies and um that was 25 plus 5 and uh, i basically um um was in hospital until the 28 plus 3 and he was born on 28 plus 3 without any infection and completely healthy and uh, of course it was cesarean and of course uh, um, um, he will have to wait until his uh, um, uh, lungs completely develop and it will take uh, some time, of course, he's not uh, born in 40, uh, 40th week with amniotic fluid, but he doesn't have any health issues. Uh, he doesn't have any um, problems with the muscles and legs and hands and everything that was uh, basically 100% uh, um, sure that he will have something of, of this. Uh, he's laughing and uh, he's happy baby. He's sleeping. He um, he's beautiful and uh, um, he's healthy. And now we are twenty fourth day after delivery, and uh, his situation is completely stable. Of course, we will need to wait some time until he leaves um, uh, hospital and comes home. Uh, but uh, uh, of course uh, mm, it will all end up fine and we are, we are already in kind of safe zone and uh, there is nothing that uh, um, mm, can happen now from this. Uh, of course uh, infection is always possible mm, but uh, I'm sure it will not happen. And Vítězlav Zavoral uh, really uh, kind of f fought for his uh, life and he has one and I'm sure he, he will have the most beautiful life and full of, um, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, full of um, gratitude and uh, 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 thankfulness uh, for for uh, the fact that basically uh, he um, he survived <laughs> even under these uh, circumstances. Thank you for this fantastic and most iterative story. <laughs> Thank you.